friends of the internet, welcome to the beginning of my adult figure skating journey to the USFSA Eastern Sectionals, which is the biggest sectional competition ran by the official US Skating Federation. I'm going to be showing you everything from the ups and the lowest of lows and the trainings, the dresses, the new choreography, the new program. We'll be traveling to Philadelphia for this competition and I'll be vlogging the whole travel process as well. So keep watching to see how the entire experience unravels on the day of the competition and how the competition goes. So let's do a little bit of rewind back to approximately a whole month before the competition. provide an update and unfortunately I have bad news for everyone. I'm about two and a half weeks away from my competition but I recently got injured so I was entering into a layback spin. I think I whipped my leg around like a little too hard and when you're in a layback your hips are pushed forward, you're leaning backwards and your leg is turned out. So I feel like I should probably like put a video of someone doing a layback so it makes a lot more sense. I felt like a sharp pain when I was training. I was like, oh no, this is bad. This situation has truly gotten worse to the point where I can't walk without pain anymore and it is so, so freaking frustrating. So the plan right now is I have to get an x-ray, I have to see a sports specialist, I have to go to PT, I probably have to get an MRI, which is unfortunate because the doctor does suspect that I have a hip labrum tear. Healthcare expenses are so fucking expensive, especially in New York. And this is something that I've talked to other skaters before. They experience the same thing where they have to weigh their own well-being against like how much money they can financially like afford. I just hate that we have to compensate our own health for you know the fear of not being able to pay for stuff. Another thing for injuries that I want to talk about is just the emotional aspect of things because I feel like when we think of injuries we think about physical pain but I think for me it's more of the mental and emotional aspect of it that hits me so hard every time because when you are someone who is so active and this is such a big part of your life and all of a sudden you can't do physical activity at all like I can't even walk without feeling pain it just feels very debilitating it feels very frustrating because I don't move as much anymore I have to also eat differently I feel like every time I get injured I gain weight and weight is also something that like I struggle with mentally from time to time you know not being able to do something that gives you so much happiness on a day-to-day -day that you're used to doing is also very hard also just not being able to do the things that you take for granted like going to the grocery store now is hard because I can't carry stuff back and walk fast because because I can't bear weight on my hips. On a day-to-day -day basis, those small things add up and it creates a lot of mental stress on the person who is injured. I'm losing so much cardio capacity from not being able to run my program end to end or even skate as whole. I can't even treadmill. And I just wanna be realistic with the experience of what it's like to get injured and that's what I'm trying to teach myself is that this is part of the experience. It's not always progress, progress, progress. Things are great. Sometimes you do get set back. I'm just trying to take it one step at a time, see how much I can recover, hopefully still do the competition. Well, I'm currently in the gym right now trying to do a program run through uh, without being able to do half the moves and also off ice. So mostly I'm going to be focusing on just the artistry piece of skating and mostly arm work because even off ice I can't really do any extensions or hip turnouts without causing inflammation to my hip. So mostly I just put on my music. I try to walk through and visualize my program in my head. I try to remember all the little attention to detail pieces that my choreographer Elia Haverson has been so awesome in helping me refine the details. That's all I can really work on at the moment which is really frustrating because I feel like my cardio is deteriorating. Literally the only cardio I'm able to do and I'm desperately trying to keep my cardio up by just doing 30 minutes of the elliptical which is what my physical therapist says I can do. Definitely on a different level of cardio training than running a program run through with all your elements, all your spins, all your jumps on the ice. It makes me a little bit nervous that I'm going into competition in about two, three weeks and I can't train up to my normal capacity 
necessity. Like sometimes I, that makes me have a really bad day, but you know, I'm just trying to take every day as it comes and you know, just try to work on the things that I can do. So I'm gonna put on my music and then I'm gonna envision my program and walk it through on just like my regular gym floor. <laughs> Thank God there's no one here right now at this hour or else people would think I'm crazy and waving my arms around and they're probably like, what the fuck? <laughs> something positive to share. Today, I just got in the mail my new figure skating dress and I'm so freaking excited about it because I haven't gotten a new figure skating dress since like the beginning of time, since I've started skating. And every single video that you see me competing in, I'm wearing the same freaking maroon dress. And don't get me wrong, I love it. I need a new costume. And also the red one did not match the music at all of my new program. Okay, guys, are you ready? I'm so excited to show you guys this. But this is basically what the costume looks like. It is this beautiful dress. I got it off of eBay and I feel like eBay is semi-sketch sometimes. I'm not sure like how orders will turn out, but I'm so glad this one turned out so well. I love the color of this because it's kind of like this like dark, smoky, periwinkle where it's not gray, it's not purple, it's not blue, but like a combination of the both. And you see a little bit of like kind of like gold ombre here as well. All these beautiful crystals and these like white transparent mesh sleeves. And then you got like this high collar neck and the skirt is like asymmetrically cut. In the back, there's like an open cutout. I think the only gripe that I have with this dress is that it kind of doesn't fade super smoothly where you see there's like these like spiky thingies <laughs> going on. And I just wish they like made this entire thing just like an ombre wash. I'm gonna try this on and show you guys what it looks like on me because I'm so, so excited. So this is what the dress looks like on. I feel like I'm struggling to turn around here, but this is what the back side looks like. Good morning guys. It's my first day back skating since my injury and I'm like no longer used to waking up at 6 a.m. So I'm dying a little. I need to wake up extra early now because I need more time to warm up to make sure I don't re-injure myself and make things work. Try to get my ass up. Motivation! Woo! Life is great. Let's go. Look to your right. And then they kind of get just like lost in your performance and the jump sometimes can be, you can cover mistakes that way. Mm -hmm. I don't, and I'm saying all this to say, you don't even look like you're making like element mistakes. So, but I know that's like the psychological part. Yeah. So for you, I think you concentrating on the performance and really emoting and selling every arm movement, great solution. And this is what you should be doing right before competition. You look great. Cool. Really good.
Officially T minus three, three, four days before the competition. I'm just taking a quick break from work. I've been on Excel for way too freaking long. I am going to be getting a head start on packing for the competition. I've been back to training. It's feeling a bit better, so I'm getting my confidence back. A mental block that is kind of stopping me from going full send like I normally do in my competition run throughs. I am someone who gets super anxious before a competition. I hate like forgetting things, and I want to make sure I have everything I need. I have things like my backup CD, my guards, my costumes, my tights, my hair stuff, my makeup, the jewelry that goes with my costume. You need honestly so much shit to do a figure skating competition. I'm just gonna take a little bit of time just to finish up packing. If I know that work gets busy on Thursday, the day I'm leaving, I'm not like super stressed, like last minute trying to get off a call and also trying to pack at the same time. the new Penn Station right now waiting for my train and it is so pretty. This new station is way better than the old Penn Station. Wait, wait, oh my god. My fucking queen. guys I just got into Philly and I checked into my hotel so I'm just preparing for tomorrow morning I have an early morning practice session tomorrow I need to test out the rink you never know when you go to a new arena how the ice will feel the practice section is at like 6 30 so I have my training clothes tomorrow set aside so I don't have to go rummaging through my suitcase super early in the morning and then I have my competition stuff laid out here so I have my costume all right so that is the event to get here. I can't believe I used to do this for work every single freaking week. I'm so glad I am not traveling anymore for work. So I'm gonna try to get some rest. Tomorrow's the big day. I'm sure the butterflies will kick in then. Before now, fingers crossed, let's just try to get eight hours of sleep and do what we can to prepare. So, all right, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Good morning, guys. I look like a bum, but I'm gonna go downstairs, grab some coffee, I'm gonna hop in an Uber, and I'm gonna go and head over to the rink. I will see you guys there.
I just finished my morning practice session. It actually felt pretty good. Sometimes the ice feels a little weird, so I get a little nervous, but the ice actually feels really good. So I'm excited. There's a lot of people. I'm seeing people that I've seen before at my ring competing. So it's overall just like an awesome experience. I also saw my friend from Philly, Jada. She was a volunteer and I didn't even know she was volunteering. I'm gonna head back to the hotel now and I am going to get ready, get glammed up, put on all the sparkly shit and the makeup and the hair and all that good stuff. And probably possibly eat something if I'm not super nervous and want to throw up. things out as much as I do with my normal makeup because from far away I think people who do like gymnastics dance they all know this that from far away when the judges are looking you can't really tell the makeup so it's kind of like when you're acting in a play and there's stage makeup so you have to make everything look 10 times more dramatic Costume and makeup are on so now it is time to do my hair my least favorite part have my sweats on and my warm-up stuff so now I'm gonna head over to a rink I think it's always best practice to get there an hour before the competition because you never know if your event's gonna run early and you might need to skate earlier than you expected so I'm going to go to the rink so I can get a good off-ice warm-up in before I have two skates so I'm gonna see you guys at the rink Now taking the ice and representing the Skating Club of New York, here is Kathy Ding. minutes later hello guys so i just ubered from the competition ring and went straight into a we work because i am an adult and i still have work to do being an adult skater is hard because you have to balance a job and skating and i was nervous about my competition now that's over now i'm nervous about my job we love that how's your tails Oh my goodness. <laughs> Love it when a group of five non confrontational people work <laughs> yeah, together. Spider Man, me, but we're all just, everything's pointing. <laughs> pointing. You take that, yeah. 
Honestly, guys, I did not know this was a thing, but apparently at these competitions, people like like participants would give out these things called tossies. Like they would make them and you get them after you like skate. It, it's so freaking cute. Like I didn't know that I can make some to support other skaters as well. That's like super, super crazy. I think I'm gonna start doing that for the next competitions I go to. Like I got this from Dana from Gardens Figure Skating Club of Maryland. That is so freaking cool. Like, I love this. I love how supportive the adult figure skating community is. And it honestly just warms my heart. Everyone is so nice. I feel like a lot of people have a really healthy relationship with sports um, when they go into sports later on in life as an adult. Stuff like that just really warms my heart. All right, guys, thank you so much for sticking to the very end with me. I'm so sad and getting hella FOMO this weekend because it's US Adult Nationals in Delaware, and I actually had an issue with my registration not going through, so I actually couldn't be there this year. But regardless, hope you guys enjoyed my rocky journey to getting bronze at US Eastern Sectionals this year. Please like, comment, and subscribe to see more skating and other lifestyle videos. Thank you so much. Until next time, bye. Mm -hmm.